Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome <laughs> back. And uh, joining us on the show is a multi-talented individual who is an actor, comedian, content creator, influencer, and also an artist. Ladies and gentlemen, if your hands are not too busy, please give a round of applause. We have Nas Boy in the building. Yay! Woo! Thank you. 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 Thank how are you feeling today? How are you doing? I'm good. How is the country treating you at the moment? As the feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. All right. So I feel like this period is like contents for you as well at the end of the day, right? Or no? Oh, we are just, your... just too frustrated to create content. Mm, so. I get like... I'm not moving too. Like, everything is not moving smoothly, so... Yeah. But when I saw that your video came out, I did not think that everything was not moving smoothly <laughs> for you. The way you jumped out of that Messages Benz and went to Fioki's site, <laughs> It did not look like something was wrong. No, no, it's no. pretense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending. So, I, I mean, I remember, I remember how, you know, you, you used to, bro, I know the struggle. You know, from the days in Red Hot Concepts, mm -hmm. with Veggie, all mm -hmm. that, you know. Mm -hmm. He's an artist, you know, signed as an artist back then. You pushed music for a while, and then comedy just happened. Mm -hmm. Like, it happened. How did that happen? What was the switch? How did you think and wake up and say, you know what, make I try this thing <laughs> and the thing worked? Oh, it's a long story. Bro. The story is long, but I'll summarize it. So it all started in, I started making Is this music. how chilled you are? Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I started... <laughs> okay. I started making music. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah, so I started making music in 2007, right? So that's when I started making music. And I was just grinding, basically. Then sometime in 2014, I, I got signed to renowned actress Omotola Jaladi. Okay. Yeah. So she wanted to start up a label with me. Shout out to Vechi and yeah. her son. Uh. So yeah, we we're there for like three years, but you know now. So uh, in 2017, I, I got done with university in 2015. Okay. So, but I didn't go for service. So have you gone for service? Finally, <laughs> in, in, in 2017, I decided to serve because I felt like I was stranded. I didn't even know where to move to. So I decided to like serve for one year. So after service, breeze blew, found yash open. I had I had absolutely nothing to do because I I am actually a mechanical <laughs> mechanical engineer. Yeah, but I didn't want to work exactly that kind of job. So um, in 2018, um, my friends were like, "Guy, you are actually a very funny person. You know, why not just try this whole skit making?" Now I said, "No, no, no." I'm a shy guy. It's not something I would love to do. <laughs> yet I am actually very shy. So it's not something I would like to do. So my guys were like, ah, guy, do I move? So randomly, yeah, I started making, um, there's a character I have. It's called Ike Chuku, the lyrical beast from the East. It does like rap, okay, funny mm -hmm. rap. Okay. So I started off with that one. Who came up with it? Like, did they give you that name or? No, 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 started? it's just me. Like, oh, okay, okay. I come up with random names. I don't okay. even know. Right. <laughs> so I started with that one. I was busy having 20 comments, 18 comments. 17, sometimes 25. So one day, this wasn't for comedy. I was sitting with my friend in the car. So I was still head over heels for music. Like I okay, still wanted okay. music so badly. So I was in the car now. I had my phone. I think it was about the time that, I think it was the first Grammy, the one that they gave to Angelic Kijo, sometime in 2018, I get 19, I think. Mm. So I was randomly making a video. I was trying to mimic David, Davido. So my friend now said, ah, Oh, boy, they sound like a move. So I said, yeah, are you serious? <laughs> so I made it randomly, then I posted. So the intention behind that particular video was to get to David's attention okay. for my music. Okay, so did they get it? Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only about that is I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait so um, I, I made that video and I posted. On like the normal 16, 25 comments, this particular one had 75. <sighs> uh, and I saw that it blog. Carry the video. I'm okay. like, ah, what's in the really happen? <laughs> Just with this voice. <laughs> so randomly again, I made another one, 115 comments. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, I was keeping tabs. You're making a headway. You get so <laughs> other blogs are still doing their thing. All of a sudden, then I started making. In between, I was making random videos, mm. like random funny videos. Mm. Luckily, one very good day, I, I just got a post from Tunde North. First post. 
that same day, second post, that same day, third post. In a day, I already had like 14k followers from like 1,000 plus. I'm like, ah, wow. <laughs> to, this is not a serious. I am more consistent, small. Wow. <laughs> so I started making more videos, more videos, more videos. Then at some point, I, I decided to give up on music. Not like give up, give up. So at, at that time too, I was even doing photography. Yeah. So since music was becoming really tiring and I really wanted to be in the entertainment space. Mm -hmm. okay. So I had to do something that I know that okay. I can still be in this space, but I can be making money from. Okay. So I decided to study photography for like a year. Mm -hmm. Then I started making small, small money of photography. I wasn't broke anymore. And Where's after the then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after then I, I decided to move fully. I used to come to Lagos like regularly. I, I stay in Port Harcourt actually. Oh, I used to stay in Port Harcourt. So then I decided to like move fully into Lagos and the journey began at some point. I didn't want people to get tired of the whole Davido character. Yeah. Oh. So I decided to switch, Freak. make some other videos. And then in between, in between, I met Davido. The rest what, was meeting, what was meeting the video like with like that was your initial aim, right? And then yeah, eventually yeah, it happened. Yeah. So, so what was it like? I, I how did it happen? Like, how like, did it happen? And what was it like? Okay, so in my videos, I was always um, I was always speaking on Peruzi. Yes. <laughs> right. I remember. So I, Peruzi was the first person that um, I linked up with Peruzi first. After after I saw Peruzi, ah, the whole internet, Nasboy and Peruzi, hey, Peruzi, don't meet this guy. <laughs> so finally, David was like, bring this guy, come out the next day, bring and come. The next day, went to David's house, a lot of crews, made videos, happy moments. And then everything became really sweet. But, but then I didn't want to tell him about my music because I felt like mm. telling David about my music at that point would look stupid. Mm. Like, mm. guy, yeah, comedian, now what is mm. what I use mm. music? Rest. <laughs> you get but me. now, do you know that Sunday Ednos, when he posted your, uh, this one that you mm. have out, mm -hmm. uh, he, Lover Boy? Yeah. Yeah, so he said that, ah. Um, the video should just jump on this. Case closed. So, <laughs> so <laughs> me, I am thinking that something will happen. I mean, I mean, no, fingers crossed. If it happens, it happens. But then I am just dishing out music. Like, this is not a time for it has to be David on it. Mm. No, yeah. I'm just going to keep dishing out amazing songs. And if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Love the boy by the one and only Nas Boy. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Of course, it is still a splash. And we have multi talented Nas Boy with us, obviously. Uh, uh, so, I mean, the way you run out of that car, I still say it's, it, cannot, like, uh, it is a mutual thing that is happening to all of us in this, mm -hmm. in this uh, community. It's excitement. It's, it's excitement. excitement. It's good. All right. So let's talk about your music uh, career. I mean, we've been talking about comedy and all that. By the way, huh, you're just so silly. Because what, who was that naive? Um, let me go and find, and then you brought my nose. Like, <laughs> He's all about his business. I must have been English. Typical <laughs> <laughs> so Igbo boy, that is what they do. But then, I mean, let's talk about music, lover boy. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, what are the plans? Because when are we expecting the video? Mm. Uh, what is it going to look like? Uh, do you have like other body of works that you have done? And then, uh, who are the people that you're collaborating with? Okay, so um, there's going to be an EP, right? EP of about six songs. Um, there's going to be a single pretty soon. I'm going to feature someone, but it's, it's a secret yet. <laughs> um, more songs, more songs, basically. I'm going to have a video for Lover Boy sometime in March. Okay. Like very soon, in about two, three weeks. There's going to be a video. Um, that's basically it, though. And I'll still put out skits, so don't cry, don't cry. I, I, was, about, I was about to ask, because I'm like, it's like photography, you're going to learn has been sidelined, one corner, yeah. somehow. So was, I'm still going to make videos. Okay. So, so the thing is, people don't understand that it is not really, really easy to create skits. Mm. Yeah. It is no, I know, I agree, so, because one skit, I, I, no, I, I feel like, that I feel like, like, I feel like you are inside the space, so you can, you can still understand. Ah. So Five hours, something like that. Sometimes I, I randomly stay at home without having an idea, and I see people saying, you said drop video now. Mm -hmm. You could drop mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. ah. I was I was going to ask um, you about that because people talk about your creativity and they're like, you know what, Nas Boy's um, creative uh, videos are not just. It doesn't just make you laugh, but it's intellectual. You know, say so you go watch some kind of videos, your yeah. IQ go drop. Yeah, yeah. You know, but this one, your, they always <laughs> yeah, make sense. Boy. No, oh, I know that they're drop. plenty. IQ go just drop. So, how, what's your creative process like? And I see that you also imbibe a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm. The Igbo, the Calabar man, all that. So, what's your creative process like? So, to be very sincere, I, I don't think I have, like, 
it's not like I have a strategy. I just understand this whole business. I mm. understand that um, you, you, you have to be really unique to stand out. Understand? So that's what I'm trying to do. I just try to stay very unique. Yeah. Lucky me, I have the progress for um, exploring characters. Mm. So lucky me. Mm. So don't be like, see, <laughs> I be I too bad. <laughs> so I just have experience. I have a lot of experience. I've yeah. seen a lot of things. Yeah. So I always bring them into my, into my the, stuff. Yeah. And I, I, I always tell people, say, the life today broad mm. for you to do just one thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're too broad. I be skit maker. So in essence, you like say you be filmmaker and every time where you produce, you only produce movies we get to do with Mama and Peking. Yeah. Whereas we get a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. So I feel like say, ah, uh, and not be everybody like this kind of story. So today, if we do this type of story, mm -hmm. we're supposed to do another story, we go favor another person. Yeah. Then I care about parents a whole lot. You understand? Mm -hmm. I go like me, they enjoy my stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't mm -hmm. go like do videos where parents don't feel relate to. Mm -hmm. you get. Then again, I feel like say the generation they messed up a whole mm -hmm. lot. So sometimes I like use my content, sanitize. Oh, the nice. the whole nice, atmosphere, nice. you get me? Because yeah. I didn't see a lot of things where I don't like out yeah, there. Yeah. You understand? So the best way where I feel preached to a lot of people now with my contents. Mm. So now why am I on the day like that? Wow. Amazing. Wow. All Amazing right, in bro. a couple seconds, I just want to say from somebody who started off wanting to do music and then going to skate, learning photography, mm -hmm. and then finding his way back to his first love. What <laughs> advice do you have for the people out there that are probably making skits now and saying, I'm getting five comments, nobody's liking yeah, yeah, yeah. it. What do you want to say to them? Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that, if I speak to you, you might not really like me <laughs> because I'm a man of truth. <laughs> so I always tell people, like my younger brother sings, right? So he's, he's, he's like 19, 20, he's going to 20. So I told him that, yo, I'm sorry, you understand? One thing I would teach my, my kids is the truth. Mm. Learn to tell yourself the truth. Mm -hmm. My brother is not talented musically. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, but now, I am, I am that, I am a godsend to you. You understand? I did a skit called Busy P. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever saw a video, I and Sydney. So it was about mm -hmm. me following my dream. Mm -hmm. So this generation, we they call anything where we like dream. Anything where we like, we they call them dream. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I did that skit, and the skit, I've been the rap. Right? So when I've been the rap, um, I work. I work, you understand? But I kept telling myself that I was going to make it. Yeah. First year they passed, second year they passed. I refused to do any other thing apart from rap. Mm. You get? Inside that rap, I became 30 something. Mm. <laughs> you understand? So it's a true life story with, like, with a lot of my friends. Yeah. I know a lot of them where we start music together. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. If you remember, it's just that I did mine late mm. because I had, my, I had my best friend, Kelvin, and I had my dad. My dad used to always tell me when I was little, Go and learn hard work. Like my father was, my father would scream it every day. Yeah. You understand? Go and learn hard work. He sent me to school, good schools. You understand? So, but go and learn hard work. The thing they try to talk, you say, don't put all your eggs don't put your in, eggs one, in one basket. basket. In one basket. Don't put your eggs in Explore. one basket. Explore. You understand? Explore. I did tell people, say, for this life, talent will not feed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You understand? Well, but we don't have enough PG. time. We yeah. are dropping nuggets, nuggets. Yeah, no, that's true, true. But we don't have <laughs> enough time. Sadly, we've come to the end of the show. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Nas Boy. Wish you the best with your music. Mm -hmm. We want to hear. We're going to stream it, and uh, we're still going to watch your content definitely. Thank you so much, Nas. Yes, it's been thank a pleasure. you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the end of the show. We had the beautiful dollar in the building, hey. the amazing honey money, and it's the end of the weekend. We wish you guys have an amazing weekend ahead and uh, have fun. We outside. <laughs>